Hi, Pizza Doctor here. Today we're going to be talking about the different types of flour that you may have available to make your pizza. When you're using flour of different types, keep in mind that each will have its own particular protein content. Your uh, general all-purpose flour of other types of brands than what you see here will have a content somewhere about 10%. A little higher will be the King Arthur brand all-purpose flour at 11.7%. The Caputo flour for pizza dough is around 12.5%. And your bread flour, such as King Arthur bread flour, will also be above 12% in terms of their protein content. Well, why is that important? That's important because the protein will be involved in the strength of the gluten molecule that forms. So that gluten molecule is what gives the elasticity and the stretchability to the, to the dough. And that's going to be critical when the carbon dioxide molecules that have formed within the dough expand with the heat being applied and give you those bubbles that gives a great texture and chewiness that you're looking for in your end result. Obviously for breads, you want to have that as well as for your pizza dough. And that's why your bread flours are going to have the higher content with the um, other types of baked products you may be making, such as your cakes and cookies and, and, uh, and muffins, the lower protein content is actually favorable because that will give you a, a softer texture and a more delicate end result. So today we're going to be using our all-purpose uh, King Arthur flour, and we're going to see how that holds up as far as um, when we end up baking it. We're going to be looking at doing it both on the grill as well as in the electric pizza oven that I have. I'm going to be doing a 64% hydration. So we're going to be using 500 grams of flour. We're going to be using 320 of liquid. And we're going to use about 4 grams of our yeast and 12 grams of the salt. So we're also going to be doing this by hand mixing. And I consider that to be uh, something that's real important to learn. I've had the best results in the end uh, with, with doing hand mixing. I've also had excellent results with the standing mixer, but I think with the smaller batches, it sometimes is hard to get the full hydration and mixing of the flour the way you need to with a standing mixer. So. Quel 
cappella, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non ti trai far colori amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle trovando a riposo, e ci sento a giochino d'amore, delle belle trovando a riposo, e ci sento a giochino d'amore. Fra guerrieri po' far bacco, Rando da chi fletto sacco, schioppo in spalla, ciabla a fianco, collo dritto, muso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di fanfate, di cannoni, che le parri tutti buoni, all'orecchio fa fischiar, non più vrai, quei fenechini, non più vrai, quel cappello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante, non più vrai, far colori amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a giochino d'amore, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a giochino d'amore. Rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar. per il fango per montagni per valloni con le nevi e salioni al concetto di tromboni di fanfate di cannoni che le parri tutti tuoni all'orecchio fan fischiar non più vrai quei fenechini non più vrai quel cappello non più vrai quella chioma non più vrai quell'aria brillante non più vrai far colori amoroso notte giorno di torno gerato delle belle trovando a riposo ma ci sento a giochino d'amore delle belle trovando a riposo ma ci sento a giochino d'amore Hi, Pizza Doctor here. So this is the next day after we made our pizza dough using the King Arthur all-purpose flour. That flour has 11.7% protein and it is going to give us, I feel, a, a pretty good result. Uh, not as good as uh, bread flour would or not as good as the uh, caputo flour in a high heat oven, but we're gonna compare three ways of baking this pizza today. We're gonna to do it in the home oven. I'm gonna turn that oven up as high as I can get it. And then we're going to put that um, ceramic pizza stone in there. I'm gonna put it right under the broiler and we'll put a pot of uh, water in an oven safe pot to bring some humidity to that environment. The second one I will do on the grill. I'm gonna use the uh, pizza stone again. I'm gonna move it and hopefully I don't burn myself when I do that. And then the third one we're going to do in my electric pizza oven, which I love, which gives me what I feel are the best results that I've been able to achieve. Non più trai far colonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a giochino d'amor, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a giochino d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella 
fiume a quell'orio brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color, non più bright, poi pena chi, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante, non più dry far quell'orio amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato. Delle belle trovando a riposo, e ci sette quattro giro d'amore. Delle belle trovando a riposo, e ci sette quattro giro d'amore. So we had some fun tonight. We had three pizzas that we did three different ways with the same dough, the same toppings. I think what I realized was that having the good toppings really makes a difference. And even with the lack of a high heat oven like you would get in a, a traditional pizza oven or in the electric pizza oven that I have. Uh, we were still able to get a nice rise out of the dough. We got a nice char on the bottom with the grilled pizza and then in the home oven everything kind of melded together nicely and, and everybody enjoyed that pizza as well. So all in all a good, good result on all three but uh, clearly the pizza oven was superior to the other two. So if you like this video, feel free to click on the bottom, the like button. Make sure you subscribe and share if you want. Um, I hope that uh, you're enjoying the journey that we're taking here to try to figure out how do we get to that ultimate pizza. I'm looking forward to giving you some more videos on uh, advanced dough making, gluten-free pizza, also some different uh, types of pizza ovens that I've used over the years. And then just uh, really focusing in as well in the future on the different products that we put on top of our pizzas. So if you love pizza, be sure to keep following and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Cheers. Buona sera.